somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2007's Nas mm. National Treasure 2. I'm so excited because I really enjoyed the first one, and this is a first time watch for me for this whole series. So I can't wait to see what Ben and company get into on this one. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I saw the first one. Didn't see the second one, don't know why, because I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see what they have in store for us this time around. I've seen it. I love it. <laughs> you know me and my history. I can't wait to see what these guys think D of plus. it. D plus in history. Well, for, you know me. for me. For me. Say, you know, everybody has their strong points. You know, it just wasn't history. We love you. Yeah, we love you. Gym <laughs> class. So without further ado, let's go! going back answer where were the documents signing that ended the civil war i don't know appomattox courthouse there he got <laughs> us <laughs> are you thomas gates yes i hear you're quite good with puzzles and riddles it's a play fair cipher that cipher is impossible to decode without the key i believe what you need is right there i'll take your diary i'll meet up with you later Mmm, I don't like the way that that's so... Calculate your distance. If you're sure to hit the mark in just about most things as well as shooting. You like apple sass on the <laughs> Apple sass. <laughs> oh, is this who I think it is? JWB. <laughs> Guy's an old man. <laughs> oh, man. There's the leg. Seabook? There's a treasure map. KGC, you're knights of the Golden Circle. You're all traitors. I'd much appreciate it if you'd finish deciphering that code now. Oh! oh. Yeah. No! The war has only just begun. The dead, the all men. Dad, no, please! Go back, it's not fair! Had Thomas not burned the legendary missing pages from the Booth Diary reunion, may well have lost the Civil War. I'd like to thank Ben and Patrick Gates. Thank you. Ah, yeah. All right, it's back. What do you think ever happened to that Booth Diary page that was pulled out of the fire? You see, I have one of those great great granddaddies just like you. It was Thomas who called the meeting, a meeting to plan the assassination of Lincoln. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the missing pages from the infamous diary of John Wilkes Booth with the name Thomas Gates, along with all the other killers. Wow, this guy's just making accusations? Mm, yeah. Thus always, Thus always the, tyrants. the tyrants we know. Mary Surratt was convicted and hanged for supplying Booth with a rifle and field glasses. May I, Mr. Wilkes? It's going to match. We'll test this thoroughly, Patrick, to authenticate it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing uh, book signing yeah the author's here signing copies i'm the author you are yeah see uh if you if there's a picture of me right there <laughs> <laughs> the classic classic <laughs> it's a pretty good picture i am the co-finder i've never heard of you oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh are you ben gay <laughs> <laughs> Do you own a red Ferrari? Well, it's being towed. <laughs> wait, wait, that's my car! <laughs> Oops. That, that standout looks like the guy from, what is it, Discovery Unknown or something like that? Or uh, something unknown from Discovery Channel? What's new with you? My girlfriend kicked me out. I'm living with my dad. I need your help. <laughs> you have to break into your own house. I need to get Abigail's ID badge. She has access to the Booth Diary page. With 30 seconds after the alert starts, probably regret asking this, but what happened with you and Abigail? I don't know, you know? <laughs> I started using the word so a lot. So, I guess my opinion doesn't matter. That's why I tell people to get a dog. Got it. All right, let's go. That's not Abigail's car. So the White House Easter egg roll is, is that is Ty? Maybe if you're not. It's got to be. It sounds like him. Oh, I hope he plays a jerk in this. <laughs> I really hope so. 
What are you doing here? I just needed to get some things. Good to see you again. Okay, it's... <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get in, Ben? Riley! Come out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what are you doing here? I, I mean, it's your house, but... I'm, hey, Riley, we met... Uh... Ben's assistant. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner tomorrow night? I actually already have plans. Oh, you do? <laughs> Of course you do. I am free on Friday. Oh. <laughs> What'd you take? It's just my things. I need to see the Booth Diary page. You saw the page yourself. The ink writing on the page is clearly visible. It could have been erased. Come on, Abigail, one look under infrared. You can have the Boston tea tables. <laughs> Both of them? <laughs> Half. The Boston tea table. <laughs> There's nothing there. I really don't think we're going to find anything. Ben. What? Look at this. Residual ink from the facing page. Flip it. It's a cipher. Yes. Play pair ciphers encode letters in pairs. Yeah, all we need is a five letter keyword. What's the keyword? I don't know yet. <laughs> all right. Uh, a R uh, Ardvark. You know, I don't want to ring. Ardvark. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just ask him to wait until I prove Thomas is innocent? What if he isn't innocent? Sir. Ah, no. look who's back. Thomas Gates is said to be the great-great-grandfather of renowned treasure hunter Benjamin Franklin Gates. I claims he had this page for 140 years and just suddenly comes forward with exactly. it. Exactly. Thank you. We're extremely grateful for the Wilkinson family for coming forth with the page. Dad, would you stop watching now? They have no understanding. You know the truth. Now we're a bunch of crazies. But we're not liars. You have to find the treasure. You've got to help me find it. So come on. Look at you. Wait a minute. What? You took his son's hand. He looked him in the eye and he said, the debt that all men pay, the debt that Thomas paid. Well, that's five letters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. L A B O U L. It's gibberish. Love away. Love away. Love away. What is that? <laughs> Temporary till I find a new place. Find the old one. I like her. <laughs> find the old one. Abigail, please. Abigail. Uh, right. He's going to be a slime ball. Got a feeling. And you're hoping Ty. I, I hope we'll see Ty again. We actually found some latent letter fragments on it. Random letters. Cipher. Hey, what? We cracked the cipher. <laughs> it's Labole. Labole was well known in France. It could be nothing. L A D, lad. Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin. Hating. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin. Do you know what Labole was planning right around the time Lincoln was assassinated? There's a map or a clue to a map on the statue. <laughs> she took your call. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't help it over here. La Boule. Are you saying that there's a treasure map and a Statue of Liberty? La Boule was a mason. They built clues into everything. Did you learn that from my book? <laughs> <laughs> Just a <the> silence. <laughs> Man only has one lifetime, but history can remember you forever. So the only question is, which Statue of Liberty? Paris, Paris France. France. This is like impossible what you're doing. You see, is here. Vous parlez un instant? American, huh? Of course you see no problem in disturbing. Do you know how much our Constitution was influenced by your man, Montesquieu? That's very good. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. I got it. I hope you read French. May I? Especially. He's a count. <laughs> <laughs> These twins stand uh, resolute yeah. to preserve what we are looking for. Siamese twins. Siam. <laughs> <laughs> HMS Resolute. Riley, how fast can we get to Buckingham Palace? I don't know. Why don't you ask your new best friend? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice helicopter. Is that, is that yours? Okay. So you get the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Just be waiting in the dark. Oh. oh, that old seven oh. tech, something mm. else. Yeah. 
Oh, of course he was the slime ball behind it. So the queen's office is here. The elevator shaft gets you close. Hi, Dad. Ben. Ace Patrick Gates phone. The house was broken into. Last night, uh, I was attacked. Call the police. I'm coming home. They didn't take anything. And besides, I I'm fine. We're in London. We're going to Buckingham Palace. All right. Ben Gates, this is what is he kind of tech is he putting together? I'm looking for the curator's office. Which <laughs> way was it? Just follow the stairs round, then turn first left. Oh, thank you so much. What's she doing here? What are you doing here? Your dad called me. Flew all the way to London to offer my help. And and what? Now you say you just you don't need it. I'm not making a scene right now. No, we want to make a scene. Well then fine! <laughs> <laughs> You see, everybody, listen to this. <laughs> this is more interesting than that. <laughs> this is more interesting. <laughs> Going to arrest the man for that. Going to detain a blighter for enjoying his whiskey. It's, it's, dismount the banister. Dismount <laughs> the banister. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting roped into this, but you were excellent back there. Thank you. So were you. I think there may be a clue on the Resolute desk in the Queen's study. Just because you may know what my answer is going to be doesn't mean you don't have to ask me. Abigail, would you like to come with me, please? Ridiculous. You're staying here. It's too dangerous. Call security. <laughs> <laughs> Are those for the queen? The queen's not here. There's no flag flying. Abigail? Hey. All right, get in. Get in. Get in. <laughs> get in. Get, get in. Ugh. <laughs> uh. What? You're wearing the perfume I bought you, so I think it smells kind of pretty. As he's digging his, flowers, I was gonna say he's, di he's <laughs> digging his face in the flowers. Patterns on the carvings could be anything. Hey, look at this, Malcolm Givory, 1880. Numbers. I think these drawers work like tumblers in a safe. Born 1819. So you got one. Eight. This guy did like his puzzles. His markings, like ink in her Aztec. I doubt it has anything to do with the plot to assassinate Lincoln. Uh oh. Mayday, mayday. Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Oh, God save the queen. What's going on now? Heaven the foggiest. Uh, they would say, Heaven the foggiest. They would say zebra over there. Excuse me, let me try and fish it. Yeah, I got. I stood right oh. there in front of those <laughs> main gates, boys. It's a real cultural experience for me. Ed Harris wasn't there. Though, uh, was oh, there. well, then what's even the point? I, I, I asked if he was. Oi, be... oi. Riley! <laughs> Look at these symbols. I can't Ah, now he knows. Well, good stuff. Stop. He's the one who's after the treasure. Okay, I'll drive. No, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> We're in England. They have their an Acura? Well, that was high tech in oh, oh, yeah. Get it to come up like that? He's just popping Pop off the right 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 middle of London. Palace. Oof. Hey, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, you should, you should really be in a jag if you're going to be a bad guy. <laughs> They're getting closer. What is their problem? Turn, turn, turn. Boy, we got ourselves a chase scene here in National Treasure. This is all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dang. I want them stopped. Look out! Oh, and it's gonna be warm. Yeah, a little bit. Oof! Whoa! Oh. Ooh! That's not good. You know, if only Nick Cage was in a Shelby GT500. Be a whole different story if he was in Eleanor. Go, 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 go. Oh! <laughs> Just GTA? <laughs> it's him. Give his number and your speed dial? This has got to end before someone gets hurt. Where are all these people going? Why is everyone running? Oh. Right there. Oh. 
Oh, he was in uh, Sons of Anarchy. Is he one of the Irish guys? Ah. Oh. Get a copy of the picture from that traffic camp. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Get it. Oh, Ooh, in the drink. Oh, he's going to go for it. Well, hey, you might as well. Got it. What is it? I don't know, but it's ours. Let's go. And we just uh, made a little bit of a mess. Don't worry. Oh yeah, yeah nobody they, saw. At least in London, are real kind about that sort yeah, of. Yeah, they were. They were busy. <laughs> I can't read the whole thing, but these are definitely pre-colonial Native American markings. That symbol is Cibola, the city of gold. Ben, can you imagine if the Confederates got their hands on the city of gold? I'm gonna go talk to her. You're coming with me. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at him <laughs> chasing him. We have nothing in common. Me? Oh, yes, of course. There, there's and the I'm reveal. Sure she's just as proud of you as I am. Who? His mom. Like, I was like, how does he not pick that <laughs> <it> together? <laughs> I love how smart but dumb Riley is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take myself out of the line of fire for this one, guys. Emily. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Oh. Wow. Bringing in some heavy hitters. Secret stitching. I, mean, I did have secret stitching. Oh, I need you to take a look at this. You got a picture. It's very interesting. We think it might be Olmec. We were hoping that you could translate it. Yes, of course you were. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff here, that means bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think this is a treasure map for Sibyl? don't you? This glyph doesn't mean Cibola. It means the center of the world. She fell in love with me on a that treasure hunt. That was not love. Dad. That was excitement, adrenaline, and... <laughs> 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 that was Ben. Ben found the treasure. You did nothing. Can we just figure out what's on the page? So you only have half a treasure map. You know where it is? Why didn't you tell me? Because obviously you have a tendency to... Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love it when he loses it. So where is... We think the map divided between the two resolute desks. President's desk. The president? What president? Our president? Wait, so we have to... The White House? <laughs> That's going to be a tough one. Why would I overreact to that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I signed on for. Could we please focus on the issue at hand? Free Colombian. Can you translate it? This is an extinct exceedingly rare language but you don't even have the whole thing what do you mean there's more to the map well how are we going to find that <laughs> well how are we going to find that <laughs> the resolute desk is near the south wall small door on the front of the desk take a look at this uh, why abigail i do believe it's time for you to make a date with your new boyfriend i think you're right <laughs> <laughs> so there you go you get some more time all, all right, right. Yeah, but he's being a nice guy. Uh, I, that's not what I want. Maybe there'll be a twist. Is that Connor in the bunny suit? <laughs> <laughs> Your great great grandfather killed President Lincoln. That would be John Wilkes Booth. How do you explain why all the bridges out of Washington were closed? <laughs> okay, run along now, you impossible child. Run along. <laughs> <laughs> what what was, was that the claw? Hey! Hey! hey. 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 I'm so glad you decided to come. We just ran into each other. <laughs> she wants to see the Oval Office. No, I know that is way too much to ask. No, it's, uh... <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> oh, of course, well, yeah. Crenellated molding. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Amazing, huh? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. They probably don't want to. Oh, that's, uh... The Resolute Desk. Many people don't know that this desk has a twin. Did you lose an earring? Connor, these were given to me by my grandmother. You wouldn't want anyone finding an earring that doesn't belong to the first lady in the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Uh, I'll check over here. Do you think it fell down here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe here. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh no. Connor! You found it. It's missing. Thank you so much. You're just the best. <gasps> <laughs> Oh no! Well, they're boyfriend girlfriend already. So. Well, they've only been on a couple of dates. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It was empty. Someone must have taken it. It's a symbol stamped into the wood. The presidential seal. It's not the presidential seal. The eagle is holding a scroll instead of olive branches. So what do we do now? Did none of you read my book? It's not something that I can tell you. It's something that I have to show you. Of course. In my book. You didn't even open it? <laughs> <laughs> the secret symbol in the president's book. So you're saying that whatever was on that plank is now in the present secret book. If it was you trying to convince me, you'd have less evidence and I would already believe you by now. That's it's true. Very good point. The eagle with the scroll. Conspiracy theorists like to believe that it's the symbol for the president's secret book. <laughs> you bought Riley's book. <laughs> Does the president have a secret book? There is a book. Why are you telling me out here? Think he's gonna tell you in there? Yeah. Where's the president's book kept? Only the current president knows. And each one chooses his own hiding place. The only way you'll ever see that book is if you get elected president. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> a few minutes, really. But if I can get him alone. How do you expect to get the president alone? I'm going to kidnap him. <laughs> oh, come on. Because <laughs> that's so easy to do, huh? How do you expect me no. to respond to this? I, I can't let you ruin your life. Consequences. All you did was read my book. And you would oh, he said, I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. And... Ugh. I was thinking about Vernon. What? I'm in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could Riley. There is water everywhere. A retirement party for 200 people. Looks like the Denby Hotel is available, and so is Mount Vernon. You are a lifesaver. The Denby is great. The Denby Hotel was just booked. Ah. What an honor it is to be ah. here and have my happy birthday. Randy Travis. <laughs> is that? That is who you think who it, it is. was. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Randy Travis. No, 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 no. They had a glimpse of a guy, and uh, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Oh, are you going to share? Well, I don't want to ruin it for okay. you. Okay. All right. Oak's just going to sit over there and look smug and know. I know who it is. Are you aware that you are in a restricted area? I'm going to need to have you move up river. 2000 time check. Station 11. You didn't happen to see kind of a cute brunette wandering around here. Went to get her a drink and she disappeared. No, sir. Got no game tonight. <laughs> God damn. I can't tell you what a thrill it is for me to be invited here. Yeah, you must have the Secret Service hopping by now. Sir? Considering your newly discovered Are you lineage. Kidding? Who is it? We just watched Fall of the House of Usher. Roderick yeah. Usher. Yeah. That's Froderick? Yeah. No, not Froderick. Not Froderick. The dad. Roderick. Roderick. Oh. Jeez. I was going to say, too, he played the president in Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh. This line is an underground tunnel, an escape route that was never found. I wonder if it's still there. <laughs> Only one way to find out. No, I mean, I know you're allowed to do that. You're the president. I, can I come with you? <laughs> like that. Well, according to this map, it should be. Yeah, it should mm -hmm. be in here. I appreciate you doing your job, but I have no enemies down here. For it to correspond with the ones on the map. Mr. President, we have a breach in zone nine. I'm sorry, Mr. President. I need to ask you a question, which I know you can't answer unless we're alone. I want a sledgehammer, I want a crowbar, I need breaking a jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> How did you make all the money in your pharmaceutical company, Mr. President? <laughs> the legendary city of gold, sir. That map is a possible key to proving Thomas Gates' innocence. Blank is no longer in the Resolute desk. Well, you've been in my desk, too. <laughs> <laughs> the book known only to our presidents. It contains all of our nation's secrets. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, don't stop doing your tracks. 
and you're not going to tell me how to get out of here. The way out is that direction. They don't negotiate very well, do you? <laughs> no, sir. Where are my sledgehammers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going the wrong direction. Well, you're willing to go to prison just to clear your ancestor's name. Everything I am is because of my ancestors, sir. Last full measure of devotion. Link is my favorite president, sir. No offense. <laughs> I'm taking. <laughs> it's my favorite too. <laughs> you can give that history back to its descendants. You're the president of the United States, sir. With the weight of history that falls upon you, I believe you to be an honorable man. He's giving him the speech. The following conversation never happened. The book exists in the Library of Congress. X Y two three four. Seven eight six. Answer right. <laughs> oh, also stuff. need to know three seven nine four. And Gates, unless you find what you're looking for, you'll be charged with kidnapping the president. Yes, sir. Gates, I want you to do something for me. Page forty seven. Just have a look at that. Oh. Hmm. So does president spin <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that he, he just knew right away. We're close. How close? Yeah. Well, because because I mean, it's not it's not gonna just fall right into their hands right now. Come on. This will be good. <laughs> he throws on the smile. <laughs> Look, do you have a code? <laughs> what did the president say the number was? Two, three, four, seven, eight, six. Six, seven, eight. It's not there. Now, I was going to say, it's not like it's going to be right on the shelf, you'd think. What is that? The location's the combination. Remember page uh, 47? Yep. I was right. Well done, Mr. Poole. Eagle in the scroll. Area 51, there... <laughs> Queen Victoria sends Pike two coded missives. Contains information regarding the City of Gold. The second missive was thought to contain a playfair cipher suggesting contact with Laboulet, who will hide clues before his death. 1924, I found a plank in secret desk compartment. Borglum commissioned to destroy landmarks in sacred Black Hills Mountain. Rushmore was a cover up. This way. Oh, the, the phone quality is so much better now. <laughs> Be Pretty mu incredible. Much clearer picture. Oh, yeah, it's got to get the. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 47. <laughs> She's pointing. Is, <laughs> Nobody likes a narc. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I sent a picture of the plank to your cell phone. Oh no. It's Ed Harris has it too. I got it. Take it to mom for translation. Did he say his mom could translate the plank? Find out who she is. Ah, uh, uh, boy. Who are you? We work here. I here. We were told to evacuate. My no. car is- One second, I'm reading. Be ready to show your IDs when you exit the premise. Best of luck. Best of luck. <laughs> Have a good night. What's the problem? It's clear, let's go. I want to run a check. Oh, whoa! <laughs> They've got an excellent taste in automobiles. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, there goes your. Oh, oh. that will stop you. How'd they find us so quick? The president is a tattletale. Sadowski. He was there. He knows more about the book than I originally thought. The office is closed. I'm sorry. Well, I do apologize for the lateness of the hour. Got something I want you to take a look at. Just take a minute. I'm just a man trying to make his mark on history. No, I don't know that language. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Oh. Your ex-husband's on his way up. He wants the translation. Tell him anything but the truth. His life depends on it. I know I'm the last person that you want to see. Sir Ben, of course. What is it? I'm not sure how to, uh, you know, Give it to me. bring it out. <laughs> not sure how to bring it out. Find where the moon touches the earth and release the hummingbird. Did it ever occur to you that I did the things I did to impress you? 
No, you didn't. You did it because you wanted to. Did it ever occur to you that I made sacrifices for us that you you never did? So just go away. Ugh. Big. Ugh. Oh, mm-hmm. That one hurts. Don't feel bad. Did good. Son would have never found the treasure anyway. You don't know Benjamin. Perhaps not. I have this. The final clue, as it were. A piece of information is worthless without your translation of the planks. Making me the only one who can find Siwala. Get your coat. Oh. Oh, boy. Never been. Oh, we're going to see a little North by Northwest action here, I think. We need to find an island of stone. Hmm. Hello, Mitch. I knew you'd figure out the message I gave your father. Let her go, Mitch. We're the ones with the firepower. The FBI is on their way here right now to arrest me, and I'm sure they'll love to meet you, too. He's got a letter. Sent from Queen Victoria. I read about it in a book. Mm, the book. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what you know. I'll find the city of gold. Prove Thomas Gates is innocent. You can have all the treasure. But if anyone's going to be credited for discovering the city of gold, it's going to be me. But your partners stay here and all the guns. All right, Gates. A lot of flies there. Yeah, no kidding. I don't need the guns. Which president? The president? <laughs> I thought it best not to tell you. <laughs> 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 I still don't see anything that looked like a noble bird. Let's have it. What the letter say? The entrance shall only be revealed under a cloudless rain. Abigail. This is ridiculous. We're gonna water the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you gotta run out pretty quick here. Oh, look at that. That's it. It's an eagle. Oh. Look at that. There it is. It's an eagle. If you say so. Surrender your hand to the heart of the warrior. And the eagle is a symbol of the warrior. That's probably a horrible trap. Tim. It's a horrible trap. Well, it would be a pity to come this far and not even try. A would. good place for a snake uh, how, to be. I mean, Ed Harris is such a legend. He is. Him. Yeah, but I hate that he's a bad guy. But he, he's. I mean, he's a good bad yeah. guy, but I hate that he's bad guy. He does good guy and bad guy he does really both well. Very well. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I am sorry. I, I, I couldn't resist. This. <laughs> Whoa. That. Wowzers. Getting right into it. Ben, what is that? Appears to be a counterweight to hold the door open. Fascinating. It's a trap. <laughs> oh, oh it's locked. No. Only one way out of here now. Oh. Looks like we're gonna be moving some rocks, people. Guys, look at this. It's a little golden man. Ooh, that's the hmm. start. It's got like a tiny little torso. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez, oh. Riley falling again. Back up, back up. Riley, move forward. Move forward. Oh. We have to balance our weight to even this thing out. We'll find them. What are we going to do? I'll figure something out. I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you. Look, there's, there, there's that passageway. You go down there, you pull those stones up, because that's got to lead somewhere. That is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, look at this. There's a ladder. What's left of a ladder? I was gonna say. Toss me the light. Move slowly to that corner. No, wait, just as I move to this corner. One step at a time. Good. Oh, fudge <laughs> that. <laughs> I ain't going last, and if I'm not going last, I might as well go first. We'll do this your way. The rest of us, on my count of three, two, three. Gotta be ready to split once he jumps on that ladder, though. Ready? Go. I thought they were gonna try and get him a little higher. It's a little yeah. sketchy. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a lot no. sketchy. Oh boy. Is there a way out? 
Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just promise me he's going to be okay. All right. You're going to have to leave one person behind. Just promise you'll come back for me. I can do the math, too. And next year next. I'll go last. No, oh, we'll figure something else out, Raleigh. You know, we need you up there, please, Raleigh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go. Oh. Oh, it would have be coming real handy right about now. Grappling, grappling hooks. Hook. Grappling hook. I mean, folks, if you haven't bought a grappling hook yet, after all these movies. After all the times we've said to get Three. one. <laughs> Go. Oh. I did not expect that. All right, ready. Now. Oh, we found a gold idol here. We can roll it over. Here it comes. Oh, it's got to do some Donkey Kong <laughs> action here. Whoa. Whoa. Why couldn't a girl see me do that? <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I almost lost it Forward. back there. I almost lost it back there, didn't I? <laughs> Put your life over there. What are you doing? Everybody's just tossing Tossing their lanterns. lanterns around like they're yeah. indestructible. Uh. Crazy thing is there's got to be places, maybe not of this, you know, whatever magnitude around the world that people oh, yeah. have never found. You yeah. Know? I can't see anything. Is this it? It's oil. Oh, just like the mm, first get movie. Your, uh, get your lighter out. Yeah. Oh. oh road flare. Look at all the veins. Is that supposed to be veins of gold? In the rock? Oh. Okay. No, no, Patrick, this is crazy. Oh. Oh, more weight, you should go further, right? <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we almost uh, died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. They just needed some adventure in their That's lives. Right. Do something together. It's up, bro. Oh, the wheel of pain. Almost. The water's going down. Thank you. <laughs> it's one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, way to state the obvious there. <laughs> Whoa. Holy mackerel. There it is. M. M. Thomas was right. No. You were right! I'm sorry I smeared your great-great-granddaddy's good name. It seemed like the only way to get you in on the hunt. This was a chance for the Wilkinson family to make its mark on history. Yes, it, I'm just... <laughs> no. I gonna say, those can't hold water for too long. Coming through, did you happen to see any branches that could lead out of here? No, it's all blocked. Sweetheart, have a look at this, look. What? This is gonna unlock the Olmec language. It's gonna give us incredible insight into pre-Columbian history. You happy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your tax problems solved. A block of gold like that? Mm. There's a current! Follow it! Let's get that door open so we don't all drown! Get to the other side and close the door! Oh. Nobody leaves unless I say so. One of us keeps the door open. I vote Mitch. <laughs> Stop. I'm right here. I'm staying. All right. I'll tell everybody how this is going to go. Anybody tries to leave before me, I drop the door. We start this all over again. No, we're not leaving without you. Abigail, you make my parents leave. Come on. He's got to have a plan, right? Oh, it's bad. 
I'm ready! It's all yours! <laughs> Both rooms fill up and we all drown! Open the door, I'll get you out! I open the door, you'll be washed out! No more puzzles, Ben! We're all gonna die! I could just be me! Tell them I found it! Don't quit! Oh, that's a turn in his character I didn't see coming. Oh, man. Oh, oh that's filling up fast. We haven't officially met. I'm Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I have my proof. Ben, ready to turn yourself in? Not quite. <laughs> Sir, for your information, this is the man who kidnapped you. As I recall, we were exploring a hidden tunnel and a door closed accidentally, and this man saved my life. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> That's how it happened. You have brought honor to your country and your family. Thought you might want to take a look at tomorrow's headlines. Ah, there look at go. that. All of you, along with Emily and Patrick Gates, will get credit for this discovery. And Mitch Wilkinson, sir. Man, I am curious about that favor I asked you. What's on page 47? Are you talking about the book? What book? <laughs> Be very careful with that. Is that oh, look at that. Yes, ma'am. You sure should have been there when we picked out our first couch. <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy, the, the okay. treasure hunter the guy. The guy you're thinking of is somewhere over there. You're him, Riley Poole. I recognize you from your book. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tea tables. I'm going to have the movers bring them to you next week. Actually, I was going to say you could keep them. Maybe you could come and move back in with me. What wow. about Ty? <laughs> <laughs> So. So? Ha! Huh. There we go! Happy ending! Except for Wilkinson. What's... Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, could you imagine? <laughs> Does he know how to drive it by now? Nope. Nope. <laughs> he needs that gold bar just to pay for that accident now. Yeah. Look at that. That was a fun one. Wow. Yeah, there's something interesting about these movies. you know. And again, I, I said it with the first one, and I'll say it with this one, in that the bad guys, yes, they're bad guys, and they do some bad things. But in the end, they always end up seeing they always end up seemingly to be helping Benjamin find what he needs. And it's an interesting story and I can see why Disney's behind it. It kind of gives them, uh, it can be like a, a franchise that they can kind of hang their hat on and be like, Hey, this one's for everybody. Everyone can go see it. You know, there's uh, nothing really over the top or anything like that. That would be too much for anybody. But all that being said, this one was a lot of fun as well. I, oh boy, did I like it more than the, I think I liked the first one a little bit more just because it had that unique feel to it. Mm -hmm. And this one, not by any means is it more of the same, but it is a sequel. So I know the characters already. I kind of have an idea there's going to be some treasure hunting going on. And they just did everything bigger in this one, which was very fun, but I don't know if it had the charm that the first one had for me. But it was great seeing everybody back, you know, everybody from, you know, Harvey Keitel to uh, John Voight was great. We got Helen Mirren, which I didn't see coming. That was a huge surprise. And, uh, you know, shout out to, you know, to Helen Mirren and John Voight. Uh, there were some serious action sequences mm -hmm. in this. And, oh, yeah. You know, anytime you always hear about movies where they use a lot of water, it, it always yeah. gets real tricky. And you're always like, oh, that's not only is it tricky for the actors and everybody, but it tends to be very expensive. So uh, glad that this one did well. Sounds like there might be another one on the way, perhaps. I don't know. But, again, a lot of fun. And, again, it was just the right amount of clues where 
it, you know, it didn't have that feeling of dragon. You were into the story the whole time. They, they again, tied in historical figures and things that happened to kind of get you invested right away. So it didn't feel like an off the wall story that you never heard of where they had to spoon feed you the whole explanation. Here's what happened. This is the whys and the who's it's just, Oh, it's okay. This is a story we all know, Abraham Lincoln, etc. So you can kind of jump right into it a little bit. So that I think is a real nice touch that they do uh, in these movies. So again, big thumbs up for that. Uh, the sound was great. I, I like how they incorporated kind of that, that action music when things were getting a little uh, hectic. And, you know, overall, just a lot of fun. Nicolas Cage, uh, where do I start? He he had his Nicolas Cage moments in here, which I absolutely loved. I mean, is there anything better when he, he he's in character and he just completely loses his mind and he gives you the crazy Nicolas Cage eyes? <laughs> so that, that was a lot of fun. And, again, uh, the character of Riley... Uh, Justin Bartha, you know, played the perfect. I don't even want to say sidekicks. I feel like that's a little, you know, he deserves better than that. You know, with, with all the tech and everything that they did, sure, you could maybe poke a little fun at the level of tech they had and uh, how he was able to control everything. But like, look, with this type of movie, I think you just take it for what it is and you enjoy it and you have fun and take, the, and take the ride. So, a lot of fun. Uh, everybody crushed it and. Again, just a fun action adventure, puzzle solving, uh, mystery adventure. A lot of fun. First one, Declaration of Independence. Second one, uh, you find out there's three Statue of Liberties. There's twin desks between queen, the queen and the president. So you got to get the exploration of that. Uh, it was awesome seeing Bruce Greenwood as the president of the United States. I was just staring at him like, what are you guys talking about? Why are you both looking at me like that? You're like, and you're like, House of Usher. And I'm like, what? It's not, that's not Froderick by any means. Like, oh, it's Roderick. And then once I heard the voice. The dad, yeah. Knew, well, well, for me, what was funny, too, is that, you know, Kingsman, the Golden Circle, he's also the president of the United <laughs> States where he wants to eradicate everyone that's on drugs. So that, so to me, that was a great, I mean, it would be a callback, but obviously Kingsman was a few years after this. But yeah, so, so it was fun with that stuff going with a whole different kind of history and then we got introduced to his mother i was like waiting what's the big reveal and then of yeah. course it's helen moran it's like this is perfect That's john really boyd and helen moran as his parents Mirren, helen Mirren. or Mirren, yeah. sorry yeah. how much more fun is that to have those two as the parents of uh of, of uh ben uh, gates uh, so this was so much this was great to see that um the exploration you know this time instead of going underneath the church and stuff like that they had to go underneath you know mount rushmore and in the water so you had the whole new element of how to get out the way to find to get out which was you know you gotta obviously the water's gotta go somewhere and then even when they close those gates i don't know if they'll make the cut i was like how long is this gonna be able to last and sustain hmm. that they're gonna be able to be right. under there and as we saw not too much longer and then we saw that they had to take the long <laughs> road it where they had to be on that big teetering yeah. floor versus uh the parents just being able to swing across and then just kind of find their way through there and Easy. dare i say yeah. fall back in love through the case of it just like his son and daughter-in-law as well and uh so it was a lot of fun seeing that the early like we saw the helicopter versus you know now it'd be a drone yeah. you saw that the the motorola razor which was high tech at the time that even so that you know that john boy was like wait wait, wait. you can you can send photos <laughs> now it's like all we do is send memes to each other all day long every day so just so much fun with that and just looking back at the technology of 07 and so i would love from the bring it back to today with today's technology but you know what would they unearth now because this was so cool the city of gold versus uh, the first one where they found all that that huge treasure this one was just gold bars and i was i was hoping that uh that riley could keep one but and i unfortunately his backpack got lost yeah. who knows if he got one then but he got his he got his he got his ride back and he got a tax uh, tax free from the president of the United States. So just yeah, this is gold. This was a fun fun adventure. Right. Oh, I just love this this movie. I just love these movies. I think there's something so 
just incredible about history because these stories are larger than life, mm -hmm. right? It feels like they're romanticized. It feels like they're works of fiction. It feels like they're larger than life. And stuff like this exists out there. I mean, imagine the first time, which I don't know if we can all agree that it was a good idea, but they went into King Tut's tomb. And that was just, no. what, early 1900s, 1908, 1918, late 1800s? <sighs> I mean, so you're talking about tens of thousands of years of world history, and a lot of these discoveries have just been made in the last 200, 250 years or so. And the thing is, is that there's more stuff out there. I joke all the time um, about it with some of my other friends um, about the show Oak Island. I knew it was coming. I'm going to bring it. No, because they're, it's, it's like, look, and I know it's a, it's a running joke that they're on the 12th year. It's. Well, they find it the first season. What's the sense yeah. of watching well, it anymore? That, there's the, look. There's a lot more to it. Legal battles and and yeah, yeah, yeah. determining what's actually down there and getting it out. But if you see the operation, the millions that they're spending and what's happening currently right now, it's it's really incredible. But I just think this, you know, let's take Oak Island out of this picture. That's the crazy thing is there's other stuff out there that has yet to be found. And you know, it's but they just, they just found that shipwreck in uh, wasn't in in Lake Superior? Didn't they just find a new shipwreck uh, recently? Uh, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan. I thought yeah, I heard one of them. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, like you said, all anyway, stuff. And out I mean, there. but you know, and some of it's stuff like that shipwrecks, mm -hmm. lost silver, lost gold, and some of it has just drastically larger historical impacts. And I just think it's so cool that like there's there's stuff like that still out there, and it's. I'm not gonna say it's always still gonna be out there, but for you know, I mean, for who knows how long we're gonna be finding new things. And I just think, you know, with the advancement of technologies and things like that, it's gonna continue along the ability. I mean, look, obviously, it's not the same as the City of Gold or the Templar Treasure, but they didn't find the Titanic until 1985. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, what a piece of history that was. Yep. And they, they knew where it sank. They just didn't have, you know, hey, well, how are we going to find it a couple miles down? Um, but I, I think there's just something so fascinating, and it's so easy to romanticize some of this stuff about history. And I think they did a phenomenal job with these movies. Like, they're really for everybody, right? And that's one thing. That's hard right now, especially, like, you know, we have adult content and kids content and a lot of the, the, the animated stuff we watch. It's for everybody. Like yeah. we, we finished, yeah. you know, the Shreks not too long ago. That's for everybody. Mm -hmm. But this was a fun treasure hunting movie, and um, you know that when you know when you have uh, you know that that we have to find this lost city of gold as a plot. As long as it's done well, yeah. you know, it can be a really fun ride. And I think they did a great job with it. I mean, the cast. What are, what are we going to say about the cast? Nicholas Cage, <laughs> uh, John Voight, Helen Mirren. Harvey Keitel, yep. um, and they had to get big Ty Burrell. Yeah, one I mean, of this Burrell, is before yeah. Modern Family. One of my favorite actors is Ed Harris, and I think he's just a, a phenomenal actor. He was such a good bad guy in The Rock. Um, also with Nicolas Cage. Also with yeah. Nicolas Cage, he played such a, a good coach in the movie. Radio, Radio, such a such a heartwarming movie, and Ed Harris absolutely nailed that role. And he's just such an iconic actor, and he's so dynamic. And he's, but he's he's good in just everything he does. Like he's to me, he's Ed Harris is up there with your your Denzel Washingtons, your Harrison Fords, actors like that, where you know everything they're in. It's it's gonna be he's, good. He's he's gonna nail it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. gonna be good. And and he delivered such a strong performance here. And at the end, you know, he just you know, he wanted his family to have that respect as as the people who found it. And I, I think uh, is it the greatest movie ever? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> no, but I just but it, that's I love adventure. I love these movies. I'll agree with Mason Quinn. I think the first one you know, the first one when they thought they were in the treasure room, you know, and then he lit the torch and it was that room. And just like, oh my God, look at how much world history is there. Mm -hmm. That moment, I think, I, I don't think, I think once you have that experience, right. it's, it's, it's a one-time yeah. right? yeah. yeah. So I think, I, I think this movie was amazing. I don't think there was anything they could have done in this movie to match the first one because it was that initial feeling that U.S. history under the church. But I, I, I absolutely 
love this movie. And I would wish we, um, apparently they did some TV series. I Or, or they might be. I haven't watched it all. Or there was, uh, it says, uh, so we're on the Wikipedia page at the D23 Expo at the end of September in 22. It was announced that a TV series would be released on Disney Plus streaming services, um, National Treasure, The Edge of History, uh, and um, uh, Nicholas Cage said he wasn't going to be a reprising role. The series had two episode premiere on December 14th, 2022. I don't know what happened with it. Yeah. Um, I don't recall that one. Yeah. So uh, one season, 10 episodes. Uh, I didn't watch it. Harvey Keitel and Justin Bartha were special guest stars. Um, so maybe it would be fun. Um, to watch. I don't know if that's something we're going to do for uh, the <laughs> channel. Oh, it had Catherine Zeta-Jones. Um, so it had a, a pretty a pretty solid cast. Um, but in any regard, I would love to see a, a third movie. Um, and they teased us with it with the page 47 yeah. thing. They really, really the teased us with it. But here we are, you know, 17 years later, and it still hasn't happened. Yeah, that's true. You know, I'll be... I'll be I mean, it'll be tough. Well, I mean, the only reason that I, I, I never looked, say never, but yeah, because I was looking it up uh, to check the date when it came out, and when you type in National Treasure on Google, immediately it goes National Treasure Three. So I was like, oh, maybe they're closer. Everybody, to everybody, it. everybody yeah. wants it. Everybody but wants to see it because um, yeah, this one was a lot of fun. There you go. Yeah, right here. There's National Treasure: Edge of History. All right. Well, we'll have to give it a job. Well, folks, it's, uh, I always enjoy a really good action-adventure movie. I've loved them since I was a kid. I've always loved those type of movies. So that being said, for me, this one, uh, while I didn't love it as much as the first one, which I gave a 4, uh, this one is a 3.8 for me. A lot of fun, and I think, like, as Oak said, you know, uh, are they the absolute greatest movies in the world? No, but they're a lot of fun, and you can take the ride, and you enjoy it while you're watching it. And to me, that's one of the things that makes a great movie. So 3.8 out of 5 answers for me. Yeah, this was a really good. It would have been, you know, obviously even better if it was a standalone, but to follow up the first one, it's kind of tough to do that because that set the bar pretty high. Like Oak alluded to, like once you have that big reveal, it's kind of hard to get it back. I mean, they tried with a, with a really good car chase scene, yeah. which granted that just Ed Harris and his henchmen just kept throwing people on <laughs> vehicles <laughs> left and right and everything like that. But, you know, it was still a lot of fun. Uh, not as good as the first one, but the first one, you know, I, I don't think that has an equal, but to me, it was still a four, so I, it, I still had a lot of fun with this one. I would still love to watch it again because I thought it was a lot of fun and entertaining. And obviously, everybody crushed it as well. Yeah, a lot of fun um, with this one. Um, like I said, what can I say? I love, I'm a sucker for these kind of movies, especially the treasure hunting and stuff like that. I find it to be fascinating because even though it's a, a, a piece of fiction, man, what if they're... There, there might be an Atlantis. There might be a lost <laughs> city of gold. Like we really, we really Aquaman don't know. Stuff, and it could be, uh, you know, centuries or millennia after we're gone before they find them. But you know what? They might be out there. Um, this is, it's a four point two five for me. I think I gave the first one a five. I think you did. Uh, uh, the, you the may or may not. Just like it's like I said. I think this is a really fun movie. It just it and. I, I, you know, answer brings up a good point. Had this been the first one? No, yeah. Like the lost city of gold, it might've been like that, like that magic for this one. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, it's, it's the fact that it had to follow up the, I'm going to steal the declaration yeah. of independence. So still a really fun movie uh, for as much as I love it. I, I, I can't give it, you know, a five, but a 4.25 and I will keep my fingers crossed and always yeah. keep hope that, uh, that we're gonna get a uh, yeah, come on, Mr. Cage. Three. You want to do another one? I mean, come on. Yeah, if you do, if you do, some gross four hundred and sixty million. Yeah, if you do love this stuff, um, I would strongly recommend on the History Channel checking out um, the Curse of Oak Island. Um, it's it's getting good. It's basically after. <laughs> it's basically about Oak. After, after he's an executive producer. Yeah. After twelve <laughs> seasons, we're on the tw look. I'm forty four years old. We're talking twelve seasons. Over 25% of my That's life I've been investing into Oak Island. And I will tell you, if you're somebody who watched the first season or two and has just been like, I'm checking out like after you know buttons and digging holes, it is getting really, really 
really, really good. So yeah, they're finding the seashells hunting. now. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, they're on, yeah. they're on the seashells. <laughs> Every year they find gold on Gold Rush. I think we'll go with that <laughs> one. Know. It seems easier. But, yeah. No, that, just, that seems too easy. That yeah. They just keep finding stuff every year. Those aren't historical <laughs> artifacts. That's just gold. is gold. historical artifacts. Folks, let us know in the comments. Answer. <laughs> just, just gold <laughs> mining in the mine. <laughs> All right. No, no. go ahead. Check it out if you if this, if this it does pique your interest. You know, good for you. That's awesome. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, pals, and good night. <laughs>